I want to continue showing you some more of what you can do in Pixlr Express, and this will actually be for your final uh, editing assignment here. We're going to go and find a photograph, and so I'm going to go to my computer. find a file that I want to work with. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I've created a, a little environment to shoot still lifes. So this is a Beanie Baby and I have a couple of lights positioned and I have a backdrop. So what I want to do is go in and do some editing on this with Pixlr Express because I want to get rid of some of this stuff out here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to adjustment. Next I'm going to go to crop. And when I crop, as you can see we've got this grid that comes up here and in this grid you grab on these handles and move them around a little bit so here I'm positioning so that I want to crop it probably about like that so I'm going to apply my crop and there it is. Now I came back to this Pixlr interface here and one of the other things I can do on this is just click on auto fix and that is actually way too extreme and I don't like that so I'm going to cancel that. Auto fix is something that I would say you could try but I don't think you really need to rely on it. So let's try some contrast instead. And what I'd like to do is make it just a little darker. And to increase the contrast just a little bit. You see what happens when I slide this. This is contrast. Contrast is the difference from light to dark. So when I go way over here, that was kind of what the auto fix did. That I didn't like so that's way too much. Let me back it off down to about there and then I can apply that. So that's actually pretty good for what uh, I wanted to do. Here's one that comes into play when you've got like a point-and-shoot camera that kind of fires off its flash when you don't want to and creates the red eye effect. Um, we don't really have red eye in this character here. So I'm going to cancel that. But all of these different elements here are really worth uh, exploring. Uh, rotate is something that you're going to probably need to do sometimes because of the fact that you kind of shot the photograph a different way. And you can just do that. Now another feature here is straighten and see how it creates that grid and you can make some adjustments that way. So if I wanted to move my photograph a little bit like that, that's a really good thing to do. But I'm going to cancel that. Color, you can do some adjustments on the color but you got to be pretty careful with this. The one that probably is most significant is saturation and you can add some saturation. Now this is basically white on white so there's not a lot of color here. Now this one is interesting. This is the healing feature. Okay, And when you do the heal, what it does, like see these spots over here? And see how when I hover over the spots with the cursor, it's actually a circle. So if I were to kind of move it around a little bit on the item there, clicking on it like that, you see how it actually kind of got rid of it? 
what it, what the healing thing does is it sort of just covers it up with whatever is around it and you have to be careful with it because it can look kind of fake but i think that actually did what i wanted to do so i'm going to keep it by applying so that's what we have there now here are a couple of areas down here that you can use but you have to be kind of careful the sticker one is just kind of silly but sometimes you want to do photos that are silly that's okay not for this class though this one is effects and this is sort of like instagram where you've got some filters that you can put on here this probably isn't the best uh, example using this particular uh, image here but that's something you can look at uh, this one is a border and what it will do is put an edge around your image so we selected the black border here and put it around this and so now I can apply that so that's actually a pretty good uh, tool to use we're back into adjustments here for a second let's also look at text because this is very important so with Pixlr you don't have a huge amount of fonts to work with and they're frankly a little bit goofy but these ones over here are definitely pretty good now the way this works is you actually get a little bit more selection of fonts once you're in here so I'm going to use this one because I think that's a nice clean look and here's what you do you actually type your text here so if I put that in there there's my text and it appears up here I can also though change the color of my text and this is a huge palette of colors that you can select I want a darker one so I'm going to click down here see how it changed that now I can also position this so I close that out close out the color and now I can still position that so there it is I've fixed the photograph here by cropping it I experimented around a little bit with the color, the contrast, and I healed uh, an unwanted area over here, and I put a border on it, and I added text. So I'm going to apply that, and basically we are done editing this. So what we want to do is we want to come up here to save because I want to put it on my computer. So I'm going to say beanie with border and text. It's kind of a long name. So now I've got it. I want to save it at the maximum quality, 100%. And when I click, click save, and now I can put it onto a place on my desktop. So that is actually what you're going to do for your next assignment. You're going to use Pixlr Editor Express. You're going to crop a photograph. You may need to rotate it. You can use any of these adjustments in here that you think are appropriate, but don't go crazy. This is the one that we used when we created our Facebook images so I could actually make this beanie baby by creating this uh, 180 by 180 now I've just made it a tiny little profile picture that I could use on my Twitter or my Facebook uh, page as my profile but I'm not going to save that uh, that's pretty much what we're going to do for this next exercise is to crop and to fix and to put a border and to put some text. It's all pretty simple with Pixlr Express.